Are we doing a photo Work shoot? Work it. Work Love it. Love it. <laughs> you know what? It's so appropriate that we would be talking about this because people are photo crazy these days. Oh, totally, well, myself included, right? We're Me both too. on Instagram. Oh my gosh, all the Selfies. time. Selfies. <laughs> Absolutely. But sometimes we have like, you know, the best the best plans for how we want the photo to look. Uh -huh. Sometimes it doesn't work out. So we want to start by talking about some photo fails. We threw it out to our viewer, viewers to send in their photo fails. I love these pictures that you sent in. This first one uh, from Facebook. This is from Amanda Furtado. In the good old fashioned, remember those booths? The booths, at the, the photo mall? booths. Yes. I still use those. Maybe not the pictures they wanted them to be. Well, where you only get like a quarter of your face in because you're crammed <laughs> in with all your friends. It's like, oh, there's my ear. In. My ear's looking so good today. Yeah, it's one of those. You know when you try and get the whole family together and the boys and everyone looking at the camera? Yes. Sometimes it turns out like this. Take a look at this family. This is Jill. It's from Twitter. <laughs> Two of them looking, one of them like, no, no photos, yeah. please. Exactly. I love it. And then there's this one, which is the classic. You go to the photo place. I love place. this. <laughs> the kids are not having it. They're freaking out. This is Kaylee. This is from Twitter. She says they love the photo so much, they framed it. They put it up in their living room. I totally would. Which I would do as well. 100%. So I had a couple of photo fails. Okay, maybe I've had thousands of them, but I picked a couple. <laughs> this is from a show um, a few weeks ago where the babies were afraid of my weave. <laughs> It was a cute selfie. She's it's terrified. Adorable. Look at her. And this one. This is on I'm Instagram. I put it on Instagram. And I was going to cut Leo out because the situation was that I'm sitting there working it right. for Sydney, who's standing on a stool. He's seven years old. Right. Taking the photo for me. I'm about to go to a, a film festival party. And Leo comes around the corner, full dad uniform, Love Canadian it. shirt and pajama Love bottoms. It. He's like, what world are we living in where you look like this and I look like this? <laughs> That's like, a reality right now. And Sydney took the shot and I thought, you know what? I could crop him out, but no, I want to, no. I'm going to post it like this. It's no, perfect. it was so perfect. Okay, let's see some perfect pictures from Leanne now. Oh yeah, perfect. Little Leanne. <laughs> Okay, this is grade what? This was, this was a school photo and my I parents, well, I have to say my parents were so proud because just days before they'd taken me for the quintessential Dorothy Hamill haircut, <laughs> yes. right? That haircut that you never lived down from your childhood. It was essential. And I hadn't grown eyebrows yet at that point, <laughs> so. They grew in now, they, which Well, great. they did in the next picture, but this I hadn't <laughs> discovered tweezers yet in this one. So, you know, there's, the, there's good photos and then there's the ones that we had in drawers, like those That's two. Right. But you know what, it's this time of year Year. It's, it's like those photos. My parents are very proud. And you know, of you course. get photos in school photos from your children, and they're not always the best, but you still want to display them. Yeah. But here's the thing. You can take your own amazing photos at home and set up your own little photo studio to do your own class photos because here's the other thing. Yeah. Those school photos can be very expensive. That is very, very true. Very expensive. And some, you know, if you are limited, you have limited resources, you exactly. have to go for the smallest package ever. You do. So why not try and take care of some of that stuff at home? And you know what, it's you can try idea. over and over and over again instead of getting the one <laughs> photo of your kids, which everybody has, the crying or the eyes closed, right. or either that, that one, right, that yeah. you're spending a lot of money on. So, so what do we need to think about if we want to take a better picture? The first thing is lighting. Absolutely lighting. And we hear this all Crucial. the time, having a good lighting situation. But here's a couple things to keep in mind in your own home. You yeah. don't need the fancy flashes. You don't need, you know, all of this extra equipment. You need a window. Oh, you need if you have light. a window, you're off to the races. Okay, fair so enough. So you want to try to time your photos so that there's natural daylight. Now here's a little tip. Mm -hmm. First of all, you want to make sure that your subject, so your child or yourself, is facing the window. Yes. But then here's the little kicker. So if they're sitting in the chair, they want to face the window and then kick to a 45. There's no mistake of why photo studios do that. It's yeah. so that when the light's hitting your face, you're creating a little bit of contrast. So you're not getting dead on light oh, on the face. I never you're getting that. a little bit of contrast and then you see the features a little bit more where it's not all blown out, Got right? It. And then that's the other key, facing the window. You yeah, don't want behind. backlighting behind you. That's gonna be a really bad scenario because you're not gonna have a lot of richness and brightness to the face. You'll be a shadowy figure exactly. if there's a window behind so you. So window facing you, but then the other thing you want to look at is is the window casting uh, basically a light of the window on the floor right if it is it's too strong oh, you need to diffuse okay. it so okay. I went out to um, a department store on the weekend and just picked up a shear oh. $10 shear hang this on your window for the short term to diffuse yeah. the light and then you can be you can look all fancy schmancy with a little light reflector put this off to the side and yeah. it'll also cast a lot of really nice light to the side of the face. So if you don't know what you're doing, because I wouldn't know what I'm doing. Fake it till you make it, baby. Okay, fake it till you Seriously, make it. Seriously, fake so it till you make it. So just keep holding that thing until I basically see and some light shoot, bouncing off uh, of your face. 
thousand photos yeah. and I guarantee you you're gonna get a good one One's because you can delete out. everything else and then so the other thing other than lighting backdrops right so you can actually create your own really simple photo studio cute. at home this was super easy so if you don't have the quintessential like blue school backdrop yeah. and you want to try to get that that Clouds. look <laughs> pick up a drape a single yeah. panel I use the 3m hook and just put it on a shower curtain with some string Smart. and ta-da now you've got the perfect little backdrop where you Very can nice. like zoom and crop Another easy thing, if you want something a little funkier, better than the fake trees in the yeah, background, yeah, yeah. which you get from school photos, pick up some fun wrapping paper and put Cute. it on a string and you can pull it all down and have your own backdrop as well. Really nice geometric pattern there. Exactly, something fun. Or this, which or, I think this is a brilliant idea. So handy boards from yeah. the Home Depot. I picked this up, $8 board in behind. It's just a wood board. Yeah. And I basically just took an old book that had some water damage yeah. and I just taped on some sheets, some of the pages. It makes a really nice textured backdrop and a four foot by four foot board. It's the perfect kind of height to place your subject there. Yeah. Get nice, get in nice and low. And then of course, if you've got squirmy kids, you need Nanny Rubina would oh, probably disagree, here. right? You need the to, the treats mm. and even some little props. So I picked up at the dollar store. You can have your 2015, 2016 year. Oh, and, you know, my sign we'll that weigh I... it in with like an apple mm, to make yeah. it to make mm. it nice and healthy. Yeah. And then you just work it, right? So lighting. Do is I do key. the weird like half pose like they do in all those school photos? <laughs> <laughs> Again, you just you work it. Listen, Tracy, if you want to get out a fan, the wind machine thing, go for it. Go okay, for good it. Good tips, Leanne. Let's go to break. More coming up. I'm ready for my